Hello? Hi guys! Hi! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this feels like we're doing it live. Yeah, it feels like we have an audience, but we don't. I know. I'm like, I'm so nervous for them to oh see me. Are they going to laugh at our jokes? Yeah. So these, we're recording on our phones too, the audio just in case. So uh, our high tech microphones, which is what we always use. Yeah. So. We use our high tech iPhones <laughs> to record. This, welcome to Film Gods Podcast. This is our um, first live video, guess, video episode. episode. Yeah. Uh, and also our first episode with us in <laughs> Side of us together. First time you are witnessing it right now. Um, and it's crazy. And this is so weird. Like uh, just like you're person. right there. I can touch you. Ah! <laughs> this is insane. It's insane. I am so used to like uh, talking to you in a through a computer. The and fact it's like that you're a real person. Yeah, and like the fact all that you're that. a real person that can like listen to me right now. Like Ugh, I know. Insane. Alexa got here yesterday so it's been like over 24 hours since we've hung out in person for the first time but i think doing the podcast it puts us into like another like realm you know what i mean yeah no i totally like i feel like we we do the clap thing and then it's all of a sudden we're like we're on we're yeah it's just it's a little different yeah I don't know. I don't think our personalities change or like we change as people no it's just weird that you're like we're having a conversation in person we're right here yeah and you're like this is my house yeah we set this up we, we set all just these set little this plants up. up yeah this is a makeshift and kind of studio we've got some lights uh um, yeah we're doing our gosh darn best yeah so our plan videos will get better this is our first one so yeah our plan is to do this every week in the fall. In the fall. Because we'll, we'll be in the same city. Two special episodes that are video. This one and then... And, and then their next another one. Another one for next week. So. For, um, well, we've been talking about we it for a while. We won't say what it is, well, but y'all know. We've been talking about it for a while. But y'all know what it is. If you've listened to any of our recent episodes, you know that we're looking forward to a particular movie. Yes. With a particular actor. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know, then you have to go back and you li- you just have to listen. Yeah. So take that. Yeah. Also, I think I'm just not used to making like this much eye contact with you. I know it's kind of weird. Like I'm just looking because I at think you. When, when we talk in like the screen, I'm like looking We're around my looking room around, yeah. and like and it's also do I look at the camera or do I look at you? I don't think we should look at the camera. I think we can look at the camera sometimes. <laughs> if we're talking to the audience, yeah. Then yeah, I'm not gonna just be like so Alexa. So <laughs> Olivia. I heard recently yeah, no, we're not that you've that. been involved with an Italian man. Shut up. Would you like to speak on that? I would matter? not. No comment. <laughs> I will not be discussing that on yeah. this podcast yeah. for fear that he will listen to it. I want him to listen to it I, he so doesn't bad. Know. He doesn't know that I have a podcast. Yeah, well, I'm just him. kind of seeing a guy. I'm kind of seeing a guy, but it's like it's not really. It's very early. Very early. I've early seen him stages. twice. I'm seeing a guy too in my dreams. Girl. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm seeing a guy at yeah. all times. Yeah, like in the- I'm I'm seeing them. They're not seeing me. Yeah, but I'm definitely seeing them. Yeah, like in spirit, I am not single. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do no, not think you like don't, that. You no. don't know what I mean? I'm. Co- I don't think uh, I'm not taken. I'm just constantly like yeah, flirting and dating. I'm yeah. like constantly in a sex in the city state of mind. That's a great phrase. That's a great. Yeah. Title. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, great title. What? Um. So, what is this podcast? Do you want to tell them? So the, it's um. Okay. So this is Film Gods, and I'm Alexa, and that's Olivia. Me. First of all, it's crazy that people can see our faces. That's insane. I know. Um. And this is a podcast where we just like we talk about movies. We watch a new movie every week. And we just talk about it. We talk about how we feel about it. We talk about what we like, what we mm-hmm. don't like. And mm-hmm. it's not like, we're not really like, we're not film people. We just like movies. We just like movies. You know? And like, we're this, just like you. 
we're just like everybody else. And I think that's why we made this podcast. It was like, we need just everybody else podcast. Everybody, yeah. you know, we just want to celebrities. Yeah. We're here to discuss with the class. I find it weird when celebrities have podcasts because I, f- I think feel that's like weird. that shouldn't. It's like you will have enough money. I don't know why you're doing this. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just like this is a poor man's space. Get yeah, out of it. Leave some for the rest of us. Like Dax okay. Shepard and like, I don't know, like yeah. people who are already famous. I've never listened to his podcast, so I can't really and like, talk about it. But and I think it's I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I was considering listening to it. But at the same time, it just rubs me the wrong way when there's like, uh, I don't know, like Kristen Dunst is like, I would actually listen to a podcast by her. I would too. But like, it's just maybe I don't know. I think it depends on I think it (laughs) it depends also on like the kind of public figure that you are like if you kind of already have this reputation of being like I don't know like down to earth and and like funny then like yeah it makes sense but if you're, I don't know. Especially if you're not really like, maybe you were an actor, but you kind of and don't like really act that I much anymore. I could see comedians having a podcast. Yeah, but, but like know, so random they're... celebrities, like I don't like I. I know this. I don't know. Like I don't like that the mm-hmm. the one girl or like the two girls from the office like have a podcast. I don't really like it either. I don't like I don't it. Like I don't it. know why. I don't, like I just don't like it when it's like, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, but it's smart. Like, it's people smart. It's love definitely. To listen it's to a that. great. It's definitely a money grab. Like that's for sure. Like you're gonna get a ton of money because I mean, you're gonna to get Pam sponsors. and Angela talk. Yeah, you're gonna and that's awesome. like huge sponsors right away because you're huge celebrities and they know you have it's like just, I don't know a fan base. It's like for me, I like listening to podcasters who are just people, just podcasters first and foremost. Podcasters. That's us. First of all. First of all, I'm a woman. I'm also a podcaster. And I'm Italian. No, you're not. We just keep... Ap- Can you appropriate Italian culture? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> <laughs> this is also funny because people can see our facial expressions. I know. And the way we like that. physically talk. The way we use That's, our hands a lot. I love that because I feel like a lot of that is just lost. Like, I, I feel like there's these weird pauses, like, when I'm editing the audio and I know what we were doing, like, with our faces and our hands, but nobody can see that, so it's, like, weird silence. So you're just like, this isn't... This isn't necessary. <laughs> I know. I'm, I am excited for the videos. And also, it's just, like, you know, we can, like, edit them the way we want and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, the thing with video also is I feel like you don't have to edit it that much because you can just see us... Talking, talking and when there's a pause it's not awkward because you can see what we're doing mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. i know and and like you can grab clips from it and use it for like yeah promos and on tiktok and stuff like that so it's nice follow us on tiktok at film gods podcast dot podcast dot podcast yeah 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 um, but yeah, so that's our podcast. We yeah. just talk about things we talk about and we're movies. not trying to be like condescending or anything like that. We no, just want to talk about it. I Alexa and I uh, always watch movies. Like it, it became a really regular thing it's in like the every fall. Single like week. last yeah. fall, it was like every week we'd have a little get together. We eat Ben and Jerry's and like watch a TV series or like a show or something or yeah. like a movie. And it was always like the highlight. Like I was always like, we really needed this. We yeah. got it. And like it was just the best. And then and then we were like, we did we're it enough times. So funny that too. it was like, yeah, we were like, we're, we're so entertaining to ourselves. And then. Um, my uh, sister's partner was like, you guys should have a podcast. And if it like, if it's a good movie, it goes to heaven. Like, yeah, and if it's a bad movie, it goes to hell. So really, I have to credit Andy on this uh, idea. Yeah, and then we you, just kind of like took it. And then it was like a joke, right? It was like, yeah, we're like, haha, what if we had a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> but this is like the best thing that's happened to me this year. No, seriously, I think it's really great. And I love I it. Doing I feel good. like I have like something to look forward to every week. Belly. My stomach just went. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, okay, um, that just reminded of weird me. Noises. <laughs> Guess what we have been listening to? We have an artist to put you guys on. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're pretty underground, but it's uh, Crazy Frog. Crazy Frog is really good. Period. Really good. Really good. That's that shit bangs. <laughs> so good that one's amazing i mean that's yeah. his top song I love and then just like the way 
I love bong, it. Bong. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. I'm adding he that adds, into every single song that I sing I along to, and it works. It's the clap. Bing, bing. bing. Yeah. 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 So that's something that we're into I feel like Doja now. Cat should collab with Crazy Frog. Oh, my God. You're so right. <laughs> that would be so sick. That would be amazing. It would be amazing. Like, I, think, I would love I think that Crazy so Frog much. was just ahead of his time, and I people... Think, exactly. I think it was, he was a really big thing, obviously. Because everyone loves Crazy Frog. Yeah, but it was, like, almost a joke. Like, all the eight-year-olds, like, unironically loved him. But everyone else was like, um, that's fucking weird and awful. But it's not weird and it's not awful. It's really good. And we listened to it in the car on the way home from a little dance party last night. And... We were, like, hyped the fuck up. It was insane. I was like, this? Whatever the fuck we're doing in this car should be illegal. This is too much fun. (laughs) The amount of fun we're having... Yeah. Just too much. It um, was insane. Yeah. I loved it. So we've been, we went shopping today. <laughs> yes, we did. I got these. Mostly me. I got these pants. I bought you many, many pants. things. I got these pants. <laughs> Not my feet. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> no. Not my feet. Oh! <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Mm, but, but maybe, but also, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I... If you liked that, you can um, Venmo no. us. That's true. Donations are always welcome. We should <laughs> set up something for that. Like, seriously. I know. Like, should we have a Patreon but or all something? But I think all of our followers are... Our friends. Yes. And I'm like, you broke. But also, uh, they're all like 18 to 22. Yeah, and it's, it's like, like I, know you guys I know don't you don't have, have money. money. It's okay. And if you do, you're spending it on Starbucks or clothing. I think we and should I don't make... mean that in a patronizing way. No, because that's what we do. do you have... I think we should make merch. I think we should do that. I think we should. And do we have enough followers for that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I, I think we should make merch. And if any of y'all listening are interested, then please let give us, us know. a thumbs up and know, yeah. let us know if you would buy I would something love to like do that. Merch. I think we should. I think that's really fun. And, it's and like... then it helps us out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, let us know if you guys want to do merch and would be interested in that. Yeah. We get nothing. <laughs> no responses that's fine we that's fine we will make it anyway we want to make it so it's gonna it's yeah. gonna happen um yeah so this week is just really exciting you're yeah, here i'm, I'm so here happy you're here for a few days an undetermined number of days we'll see how it goes and every time alexa and i just make a decision it's like so what do you want to do do you want to do the podcast tonight i don't know what do you want to do well i don't know we could do it tonight or tomorrow or we could like i don't know though like what did you want to do anything else like i don't know (laughs) that's literally it that's our all of our conversations which sounds miserable and but it's actually fine it's fine and my thing every single time is like do you want to do this later and i'm like "Mm, i don't know let's just see how we feel let's just see how we feel later and i'm just like but that works. It does work. It works look, because look at like, us now. We're maybe feeling we're too like, tired to do certain things. We or... feel like we want to do the podcast and we're doing the podcast. Also, I love how we're kind of wearing similar outfits. We kind of are matching. I almost wore a white top and I was like, wait. I like the black though. Thank you. It goes well with this outfit. Um, Thank you. Yeah. It's, we started keeping up with the Kardashians. We finished Too Hot to Handle. Amazing. Was crazy. That was insane. That was like better than the first season, I think. Way better. The twists that they added are like in, that made it infinitely good. better. I was like, why is this show good now? The first one was kind of a flop. But it, it was, was only bad. good. I think it was only good because people were all like at home. People and people were insane it's, on that show. Like the the people that they had on the show were so frustrating and weird. Oh my god, they're crazy. And but Chloe was amazing. So. Loved Chloe, yeah. But this season they it was were like so much we better. Know it was how intense. To make it better. It was. It was like <laughs> genuinely. We were like, I need to know what happens. I know the last couple for you. like episodes. I was like, oh my god, I care so much. All like of a the sudden. way that they just. The, they added new people. Yeah. They were like... I guess we shouldn't spoil it, but... But... You know. And then they did some other things. They did some other things. And it was like... Whoa. It was good. It was it, a good time. Excuse me? And I'm happy with the result. Me too. God. I just And I just love Melinda. I want to be your best friend. She just seems genuine so and also just much. so funny. She's and like, hilarious. 
She was like the life of the show, honestly. Without her, I'm not sure. I don't think I would have continued. I would be like, "Mm, yeah, I'll continue begrudgingly. Everything she said and did, I was was like, why is that me? I know. (laughs) I want, okay, if we get big, first guest star, Melinda. Melinda. (laughs) I'm just saying. I think she would like this. Period. We'll just be like, do you want to do an interview? Please. This is like not, we don't have to watch a movie. You don't need to watch a movie at all. We just want to ask you, like, we want to talk to you. Which actually, you can, you let us know what you want to talk about. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know? We're with you. Who am I to say what you should talk about? Whatever you want. You let us know. So, So Melinda, if you're listening to this, (laughs) if she's listening to this, if you happen to stumble upon our podcast, we mm-hmm. really are big fans. We love you. Mm-hmm. We do love you. Um, yeah, and uh, we're watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians and realizing right. that we speak like them. We're just like them. I think it's just... <laughs> I like that statement. We're, we're just, just like the just Kardashians. Like <laughs> yeah. Look I, at us. We're just like the Kardashians obviously. in every single way. But we talk like them, like, maybe not right now when we're doing the podcast. I think we have a podcast voice, almost. I think we do. It's just, like, more enunciated and... Yeah. Yeah. It's just, just I don't know. Us, but better. Um, <laughs> but, like, on a everyday kind of basis... This morning, especially, after we watched it, we were like, mm-hmm. Yeah. We were literally... T- yeah. We were talking like this. Yeah. Do you we need a like, towel? Do yeah. you need a towel? Oh, do you need a blow dryer too? Yeah. Or <laughs> are you okay? Like, that's Courtney. Did, is are just, we going shopping? Did you want to do that well, first? Did you want to? Or did you? I mean, are you I hungry? Don't know. Are you I, hungry? Because I'm kind of in the hungry. Fridge. I'm kind of like I could eat something. I'm kind of hungry. We're, this is annoying. It is, but we sound like them. You can't deny that. <sighs> <laughs> and it's disturbing to me. I know that I just talk like that sometimes. I think it's disturbing too. And I've never watched that fucking show. So it was weird because we started watching it and we were like, why do we act like them? We don't I have we've watched it before. I haven't seen it at all. And I then watched randomly it last year they were doing like they're funny. What we do. They would like put on this like New York accent. Yeah. They'd be like, Oh, you win. You're wearing leather shorts? Leather shorts? Leather shorts? Oh, wow. And, and then I was like, like oh, I don't know. Chris did a little like yeah. accent at one time. They were all doing it. And I was like, that's what we do. But you know, I'm proud of you. It was just like, it was like I, I was just like, this is funny. This and is funny. it's what I do. That's what I do. And some of the things they just say are like, they're just funny. Just funny. I'm like, you guys are just the way they tone, like, it's just flat. Yeah. And they say shit, and I'm just like, okay. I love that. And, like, like, the fucking editing and, like, music in the show is so funny. Yeah, she's because like... Because they'll be talking about something serious. so serious. Like, Chloe's like... And it's like a trap beat in the background. Literally. <laughs> Chloe's like, so you do the beat. I'll be like, right. so it turns out that I can't have kids... Um, like my eggs are just like super frail, I guess. So I'll be going back to the hospital tomorrow. Um, <laughs> like it's literally so upbeat. Yeah, it's like it's, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. I know. I'm serious. But like yeah, and it was like so sad when he cheated on me. Yeah. Like what? Like, huh? Crazy we, frogs in the background. Bing, literally. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> they might as well just do that. I was like, why? I don't know. I think they're like, we know that the people that... Why did you just, you just glared at the camera? No, I didn't. I looked at myself in the viewfinder. People hate when they do, when people do that. Well, get over it. I learned that from watching um, YouTube in 2015. Yeah, A lot of British YouTubers. Like, I know. And people were like, hey, vain. that girl that you put on your fucking video... She doesn't know how videos work because she kept looking at herself in the viewfinder. I and I was look like, at myself. Sometimes I can't. So um, I have I'm the blocked. option, so I will. I think that would be a bad idea for me. If I had, if I was in your place, I'd be like <laughs> constantly. It Just would be like, so bad. Yeah, that's practically me in therapy. Now that it's Zoom therapy, you just look at yourself. It's terrible. I'm like, hello. Hi then me. I look in the little corner. Hello, me. And I'm like, I can't believe you? you look like this. Yeah. Awesome. 
Anyways, it is my week. Yes. My week, my house, my rules. I. Period. Have decided that we did just, I think we've taken like too many movies that are movie, like films. Like actually good. Mm -hmm. Like quality. Which is interesting because like maybe we've done like two recently. Promising Young Women. Two, three. Yeah. And then. Um, St. uh, Maud. St. Maud. And I don't think Devil's Advocate would be considered. No. Nice Guys, kind of. Nice Guys, really. But that's like a, a well liked movie, yeah. But I don't know. For some reason, I've been like, I feel weighed down by film. And I need to no, lighten my I load. Under- I totally understand. And I'm like, I'm. And I think also in my free time, I've been watching a lot of the movies on my like watch list on Letterboxd. Right. Which yeah. have been like movies, movies. Yeah. Like I watched like Castaway. I've never seen Castaway. Me neither. It's a classic. He's really good with numbers. I was like, I would be dead. I what's be what's dead. one thing you would bring on a desert island? I'd bring my dad. Maybe he'd die, but he probably wouldn't. He's so smart. He's good with numbers in his head, so he could like calculate how much twine we need to build a raft and get away. And he's been in the woods for like ninety nine percent of his life. I so I would bring another human being with me. Is that all? Out? I think that's smart. No one said it wasn't. Well, then can I just choose like a camping expert to come with me, or well, do like you an know outdoorsy a fucking camping expert? Well, no. Then no. It has to be something you can actually get. Were you gonna hire a camping expert? Maybe. And then knowing you would have to let them know that you're gonna get lost on a desert island then with them, and then they probably wouldn't go yeah, with you. That's true. My dad would go with me anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what I would bring. bring I your just, mom. No, that I wouldn't would do funny. that to her. I wouldn't would do that to her. Would she help at all? Yeah, she's a smart, resourceful well, lady. Her. See, I'm like, I would do that to my I dad. Wouldn't, no, my dad would probably I'm not going to drag it, my honestly. mom into that. I'm, he would be I like, oh my god, I'm just like, that. I'm just like that grizzly guy. Yeah, see, I Whatever feel like your dad would like enjoy it, but my, my mom would, love it. would be just really stressed. Same with my mom. That's so why I don't want to do that to her. I say, that's okay, mom. You can stay at home. What are you going to bring? Like, okay. Your eyeliner? Yeah. I bring my hair cutting scissors. Lip liner. Yeah. Oh, you definitely need to cut your hair when you're out there. Cut my hair. You would go crazy without cutting your hair. Actually, I literally don't know. I'm like, that's a lost cause. Maybe like, duct tape. I'm like, I think duct tape is a good thing. I think I watched a Mythbusters episode and they were like, you could do a lot with duct tape. Okay. I'm like, I might as well not bring like, anything because it's like I'm dying. Well, at least bring something. No, you wouldn't die. I would bring a water bottle or like a kettle or something. Yes. A kettle. Like. Like a like a pot or something or oh, a kettle. Okay. Like I was like, uh, you know, you can't no like boil you know, shit. No, like an actual <laughs> kettle, kettle that you put on the fire, oh, and like it a boils flask it. or something. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's good. not like an electric kettle. <laughs> I think I'm not dumb. That was stupid on my part. Jesus, for assuming that. Anyway, so I've picked a very <laughs> sorry for touching your toes like that. Oh my god. Um, Stop. Get your feet away from me. No! You want to hold feet? No! <laughs> Fine. What's the freaking movie? The movie is, a f- it is. is maybe a really stupid movie. I mentioned it to you. The fact is, I think you know what it is. Okay. It's stupid, it's dumb. I've watched it before. I watched it alone, and I really wanted to watch it with you. I don't know what mm-hmm. happened. I had been try- I've been trying to get you to watch this movie for a while. No, I know, and every time I'm like, I don't, I'd rather I don't watch feel something like else. It. Yeah, I don't like... Sorry. Mm, what the but I do want to watch it. Mm, sure. Um, no, you're going to be like, this is But I love that the movies. worst. It is called Love Wedding Repeat. It's a terrible name. And the concept of the movie is essentially that a wedding scenario, like the wedding just keeps, it's like Groundhog's Day. It's like the wedding just keeps happening what? in different scenarios. Oh, okay. So it's like different people like oh. hooking up with different yeah. people. Yeah, it's the and... same people, but it's like yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, and that's like kind of interesting. But also, those movies make me so upset. Upset when me it's too. like you know. I know. I, d- I tend to not thing. like repetitive like the whole like Groundhog Day thing. So I was like, well, the movie Groundhog Day did that. So let's yeah. just end it there. Uh, however, I did. I love Palm Russian Springs. Doll. Oh. <laughs> I have, have you seen, seen Palm, Palm Springs? Springs? I really liked Palm Springs. That is something 
you need to watch. Yeah, I know. And it is. Russian Doll. Yeah, Russian Doll was so good. I haven't so seen funny. it, but you should definitely watch it. I feel or I'll like watch it with it's you. Good. Okay. Um. So yeah, the synopsis says alternate versions of the same wedding unfold as Jack tries to make his little sister make sure his little sister has the perfect wedding day. So, so why is the wedding repeating itself? Like, is there a reason? I literally have, I've seen it and I don't know. So I don't it's know. just doing this I think for maybe no it reason? it repeats until, like, he gets it right. He gets it right? Jack. Till the he, older brother. Till his sister's wedding is perfect? perfect? That is so stupid. Yes. And I'm like, okay. Olivia Munn's in it, who's, yeah. as we know, dating Jack. John Mulaney? John. <laughs> Jack. Whitehall, Jack, Jack, Jack. I was going to say. John Laney. Yeah. Um, that is interesting, yes. Ashling B. I think you, you know her. <laughs> okay. She's a comedian. I know her. She's like, she does stand up. <laughs> Girl, this is stressing me out. The computer where you're just grabbing the screen. Look. Your greasy little fingers. Don't call my fingers um, greasy. <laughs> No, I know. I think I know her, yeah. Amazing. Tattoo's itchy. Don't itch it. Are you not supposed to? No, but it's itchy. Stop. I'm, just, I'm rubbing it. I'm lightly rubbing. Okay. And it is a weird movie just because a lot of shit happens. It's messy. I think that's the best way yeah. I can describe it. It's messy. Yeah. And the guy that plays Jack is Sam Claffin. Yeah, I know him. Who plays Finnick. Right yes. in uh, the Hunger Games. Yes, and I don't think he's that bad looking. No, he's pretty good looking, right? Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Why? Because the top review on Letterbox for this is: "This is so bad that even Sam Claffin is ugly in all caps." <laughs> <laughs> like they're like, how did they manage to make him ugly? Oh my god, he's not like. The most hot in this movie. No, but I think people generally think that he is a hot man. So if because he's not I like him movie, better with like some stubble or something going mm. on and his messy hair, you know. And then they just took that all away. That's so rude of them. Yeah, this one I relate to a lot. This review, it, it gave it one and a half stars. And then one where it's like, oh, this is so bad. Even Sam Claffin is ugly. One star. This movie's not one star. Yeah, one star. This is one and a half. So refreshing to watch a, a bad movie after watching so many good ones recently. That I is literally me. I love that so much. And, and that's why so I feel true. like we need this. It's like a cleansing, like, the palate. Yeah. You know? Like, this I is agree. so fucking bad. And it's like, it's going back to our roots as well. Yeah, our bad rom-com roots. Because that's we, who we are. That's what we, like, religiously watched before we did that's this what I podcast. I still mostly watch like on my own time. I'll just put on a shitty rom-com. Same. And also like the way I was just thinking like this podcast has like Okay, I thought I heard noise. It's ice cream truck. That's kind of fucking creepy as hell. So scary. When it's like cloudy out. Oh my god. What the fuck? It feels like I'm in a horror movie. I know wait. This the, that sound? The background noise? <laughs> it's so freaky. I'm actually freaked the fuck out right now. Me too. Um, okay. Okay, uh, so I was saying... <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Yeah, I feel like this podcast has like forced us to kind of watch movies outside of our usual genre, which is bad mm, rom-com. Yeah. I've watched way more... Like, I've gotten into movies now, I think. Yeah. Like, I... Like, for me, I was, like, I would watch a movie every once in a while because it's, like, mm -hmm. well, sure, why not? And I was, like, kind of, like, eh, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I, like, I'm, like, really getting into movies. Yeah, I know you are. And it's fun. Like, I, I like, had kind of stopped watching movies, like, for fun when we started this podcast. Like, mm -hmm. other than, like, the movies that we would watch together. Uh, yeah, yeah. But now, yeah, I don't know. I'm, like, I do watch, like, movies in my Spare my time. spare time that yeah. I've like never seen, which is yeah, and weird I'm for like me. exploring more genres, and I like that. Yeah, especially like through <clears throat> this podcast, we like we'll yeah, watch, like we'll watch like we try to switch it up, or yeah. like you know, like crime or action. Like I never watch fucking action, action movies. movies. 
But I kind of like them now. But now I'm like, action I'm like, kind fun. of fun. I like to see you guys fight. Like, I know they're not necessarily, like, like objectively. Tumble they're not, like, you objectively know, great, great, great movies, movies. But they're yeah. entertaining. And I love them for that. Yeah. I think all genres have their purpose. Yeah. You know? Action has a purpose. And it's not going to be the same as, like, fucking a drama. Mank. The, yeah. You know, like that movie or something. Yeah, like a drama or something. Um... And this movie has its purpose, and it's so that we can make fun of it and roast the shit out of it. Period. Um, okay, this person has, like, a three-paragraph review, and they said, they started with, these last couple of months have been the hardest of my life. <laughs> but they're serious. <laughs> And I feel bad. Did this movie make it worse? Yeah, like, they are just saying, like, my mental health is really bad. I wish, I don't wish the way I've been feeling on anyone. Why are you saying this in a movie review, sis? Before this time, I watched films every day. I love film. It's just like, this is all about themselves. What? This is very self-centered. I literally don't care. <laughs> um, or I'm like trying to skip to see like... Like what did you... What did they think of the movie? <sighs> they don't say anything about this movie, I think. They're literally just like... I started seeing a therapist. Venting? Yeah. What the fuck? And she sent me with the goal of watching a comedy film this week to try and get myself back into watching films. Oh. So I did it. I see. I know this seems minuscule. Minuscule with everything else that is going on with the, with the world right now, but I just wanted to share. And they gave it three stars. Damn. Um, I don't like that they shared that much about themselves. I think that's weird. <laughs> I think it's strange, but 125 people liked it. I'm like, you went to therapy, but it doesn't look like it yet. Why are you telling me this? Tell your therapist. They just started saying. <laughs> That's started what I'm saying. saying. It's like, why are you on the internet? You say like, you're going to therapy, going but it doesn't so look much. like it. I'm going through so much, strangers. Listen. But it's like sometimes you need like a community. And Letterbox is a community of people that will support you no matter what. Okay. But I agree. They shouldn't have done that. <laughs> No, I think it's just no, like it's good. You could talk. just the Scorpio moon in me. That I'm I just like that's yeah. fucking weird that you're telling people about yourself. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's the first film that they've watched in two and a half weeks, and they used to watch movies every day, which I guess you know that's a sign of like losing interest in things. So good for them. Mm-hmm. They said ignore the choice of film. Uh, I will not. We will not. These movies are movies too, and they need to be recognized as such. Period. And honestly, if you watch a bad movie, own up to it. I watched a bad movie. Yeah. Like, why are you, who are you lying for? Why are you for? hiding it? It's okay Except to let yourself have a little stupid fun. Accept yourself. I don't, yeah, exactly. Um, My stomach is insane. This movie made me sad because I know what Sam Claffin's hair has the potential to be. And seeing what it is in this movie was ta 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 depressing. Damn. People they give are it one and a half stars by the hair. This is two and a half stars. I took half a star off for Sam Claffin's haircut because <gasps> I'm upset about it. I'm oh. gonna say his last name, right? I, th- I, don't, I don't, don't think know. there's any way to say it otherwise. Yeah. Claffin? I think mm. it's Claffin. Okay. Claffin. Laughing. Claffin laughing. Um this one says, How do you make a rom com and forget the romance and comedy? One and a half stars. They're kind of right, though. They're, oh, like, I don't know. I've never seen it, but. They're kind of right. This is. That's sad, though. Come on. I know. That's why I'm like, I'm being serious. This movie's not getting to heaven. When I say it's bad, I mean it's bad. Oh, my God. I'm excited. This is half a star. Half a star. Half a star. Half a star. The real sleep sedative is this movie, but everyone go watch it so my baby Sam Claffin can pay his bills. So true. What's the like the average rating That's for this? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> um, two and a half stars. Ooh, actually, not even two point two. 
That's bad. I know. That's really bad. Usually, like, it's, like, three for, like, a, you know, just a regular old movie. This one said, I think I liked the cast? Question mark? Okay. Wouldn't recommend. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know why I'm, like, making you watch this movie. Now that I'm reading, everyone be like, don't fucking watch this I'm movie. I'm excited. I love watching I'm like, why did I bad pick movies. Because it's fun. Don't second guess yourself. This one says, if four weddings and a funeral and about time had a baby, but a very, very ugly baby. No. <laughs> I like that one. Two stars. Yeah. Have you seen both of those films? I don't think I've seen About Time. Oh my god. That has like Rachel McAdams in it, right? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it. I was like, that's too much for me. It's too serious. This is kind of funny. This is a one star. It says, part of Olivia Munn's character's backstory in this movie is that she was kidnapped by the Taliban and then she found out her mom had terminal cancer and they play it for laughs. Is that real? Multiple times. Are they serious? They are. That is true. That sounds like they're goofing on us. Like, they're just making shit up and being like, yeah, this is what happens in the movie. Yeah. She gets kidnapped sure. by the Taliban. Yeah. And then her mom gets terminal cancer. And but they that's make like it for for laughs. real. But no, Who the literally. fuck wrote this? I hate this I don't movie. Know. And this person gave it two and a half stars, which I think was generous, and said, it wasn't as good as I hoped, but we're in a movie drought. And it has sound clapping, so okay. I'll take what I can get. And that was in, like, April 2020 when it came out, so we were kind yeah. of in a movie drought. Mm-hmm. Nothing was happening. It was, like, quarantine and stuff, so. Um, yeah, and <laughs> I actually thought this movie might be good. So naive. Oh, my God. All right. This one is, okay, I just want to say this is my last one because okay. it's the highest one I've seen. Four stars. Oh, my God. I just enjoyed this so much, even though it wasn't anything special. Just a literal train wreck wedding <laughs> with an amazing <laughs> Italian villa as a backdrop. And I think that's how we're going to feel think, about it. Yeah, that's what I was going to I like say. her. I like Sophie's review. Everyone else I'm taking is it too annoying. seriously. Yeah, they're taking it way too seriously. It's stupid, but, like, fun stupid. And yeah. it takes place in Italy, and it is a train wreck. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I that's like what we that. Need. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun watching it. I agree. I'm yeah. excited. Me too. I think, Let's, I think we can wrap this up. I think we can just do this. Let's do this thing. Yeah. All right. We'll so come we... back with our thoughts on Love Wedding Repeat. I would recommend watching it, despite what that one guy said. You heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay. Okay. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Okay. Shall we then? We shall. Okay. Later skaters. Later skaters. We'll be back in two seconds. We are back, guys. We're back. We've watched the notorious Love Wedding repeat uh, that got an average 2.2 star rating on Letterboxd. Yeah. And I think it's gotten like 50% ratings everywhere else. Yeah. Sounds about Honestly, right. I I didn't think this movie was as bad as people said it was. I didn't think that either. The first time I watched it, I was like, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I had the a good time. The second time around, as someone who watched it twice now, yeah, it's a bad movie. <laughs> I just, I but, honestly, I didn't mind it at all. Like, I had kind of a good time. Honestly, I thought. I thought there was, like, genuinely funny moments. There are. I think there and is. And I think there was, like, genuine, like, romantic moments. So I was thinking about that, like, one review the whole time. And, like, the, what possessed me to be, like... Hmm? The one that, that was, like, where's the romance or the comedy? the comedy? It was, like, they're, they're both there. You just... What's wrong just with blind. you? blind. I thought it was, like... I was, like, well... There we is romance and there is a bit the of comedy. Elements. Yeah. I thought it was fine. It's kind of... I don't know. It's like a rambling train wreck of a movie. That's the thing is it kept my attention. And I, I think like, that's what? why we liked it so much because it was like Weird train wreck. And insane. Yeah. And we love like train wreck reality TV. So that was like a movie version of reality TV almost. It's but it was literally so scripted. true. But honestly, if, if someone said, oh, this was like a director's debut, I'd be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it seems it's a like... 
it's it's like weird a novice film. That's what it felt like almost. Yeah, it's weird because the like the production quality is really good. I know because it's Netflix, I guess. Because it's Netflix, yeah. But it's like. But once again, Netflix original. I feel like your standards have to be on, almost on the floor. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know. It was like fine to me. Like I I wouldn't. I don't think. I didn't hate it at all. Like no, I, I, I enjoyed quite myself. Enjoyed it. And I like watching those kind of things with you, yeah. especially. And if I watched that by That's myself, fine. I would, it would enjoy have, it too, right? It would have made me like feel, feel some bit nice good. things. Yes, yeah. and that's what it's so, supposed to do. I think it I was. I love how my feet don't touch the floor. Yeah, you're so little. Can you imagine if I was in that chair? You would and be you so were big. In this like low chair. No, I'm tall. Also, now we're like the same height because of these chairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in our TikTok, I look taller than you because I'm like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, mm. it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. The way I can fool these people. It's the way it's all a lie. Don't trust social media, <laughs> everybody. It's all fake. It is all fake. I'm actually five, two and three quarters. Not taller than Alexa, who's like, what? Five, five seven? eight? Five, eight? Yes. It's crazy. My mom is 5'11", so I always thought growing up that I was going to be that tall, and so was my dad. Whoa. So I was like, I'm going to be 5'11". My parents are, I think, both 5'7". I mean, they're pretty short. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. You are taller than probably my dad and my mom. That's actually terrifying. I think so. Or maybe maybe the same height as them, because you're 5'8", but... That's actually so scary. I don't want, I don't like being taller than parents. That weirds me out. That weirds me out, too. Like, the, I'm actually glad that I'm not, like, meeting them. No. <laughs> no, I want to meet your parents. I was going to say I'm... <laughs> that was such a I'm maniacal glad. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm glad that I'm not, like, the same height or taller than my mom because I'd feel weird about it. I would feel weird about like, that, Like, looking too. down on your mom? Never. That's kind of rude. Never. How I'll dare never, you? I will do that. What? Never. Are you kidding me? I love my mom. Yeah, I love... I, if I was... I told them my mom, I'd make myself shorter when I talked to her. I would constantly be sitting down yeah. or I would literally, I would squat, I would get on my knees and talk to her. Yeah, but she okay. deserves it. Wait, let me fix my posture. Hunchback. Hi, mom. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, that's what I would do too. Yeah, same. I think that's the only respectful thing to do. Literally, if you're taller Sons than your mom, who are taller than their mothers, that's disrespectful. Is disrespectful and misogynistic. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Like, it's your fault. And it's your fault us. that you're this tall. First of all, look at my little pinky that's finger you. doing all the work. It's your fault. It's that your you're, fault. That's, that you're this tall. You shouldn't be taller than your mother. You should never be taller than your mother. Let me tell you this: <laughs> never be taller than your mom. Yeah. Your ma, my brother is your ma's the, the one that makes your pasta. My brother, and you're gonna have the audacity to be taller than taller her. Taller than her? No. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not in this house. If I have a son and he's taller than me, I will literally kick his knees in. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I hope he's taller than me because that would mean that he's like five, five one. Th- yeah, for the love of God, be taller than Olivia. I'm gonna be like, please. Please, yeah. little guy, you can do it. Please, little guy, you just grow a little bit. I just someone and have kids with them, and they have to be tall. Yeah. My parents made the mistake of going for the same height. That's how I feel, too. I'm like, I need to, they need to be pretty tall. Like, I want them to be... That's kind of weird to me, actually. That you're, You want your kids to be tall? Yeah. Is that weird? It's eugenics. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Oh! No, it's not weird. I think everyone wants tall kids. I think that's a natural, like, biological thing. Really? Where because, like, like, a basketball? Because it's, like, big, strong. Mm-hmm. I want my kid to be big, strong. Because, <laughs> like, basketball? What? Like, basketball. I want them to play basketball? Mm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like, everyone. No. Mm-mm. I, sh- I don't really want them to be s- sports <laughs> kids. <laughs> I was just if like, my kids like I think sports. that's a natural thing, like biology. And I'm like, oh yeah, like basketball. Like basketball? Yeah. This is very Kardashian of us. I know. I know. They all date basketball players. That's true. At one point or, or another. Courtney. 
She's with the Sarah Courtney. She went for Scott Disick, who actually was in Heartland, or he was on the Heartland cover, like of the books. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. So and now she's with Travis Barker, who is the drummer of Blink One Eighty Two. Not hot, but I understand why she's doing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's the same with I like hope, Megan Fox. I know. And I was gonna say, I hope they're friends. Or they something. are. They are. They are. They hang Good. out together. Good. They should. They I should. feel like they have so much in common. Like I just feel like they they're could like really little, short, beautiful women dating tall, skinny emo musicians. Me and you. Not that we're dating anyone. I was like, we're dating each other. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, but I mean, like they have matching boyfriends, and this is what I was talking about yeah, with us. We do have matching boyfriends. Here's something. We I don't, don't think we've talked about this. We don't have matching boyfriends right now. No, but like we. How we, we have, have matching love lives. We have matching love lives. We haven't talked about that, I don't think. No, we haven't. Have we? I don't think so. Our love lives sync up. They sync up weirdly and like we don't even realize. Like, well well they've synced up like since we were born. Like like they've synced up like yeah. before we met. Cause like it's we weird. both lost our virginities to uh, a Libra man. Yeah. This is maybe TMI, but maybe I don't really, TMI. I don't really at care. the same age. At the same age. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. To, yeah, to Libra men at the same age, first times. That's just crazy to me. That is insane. And then um, we, I mean, I guess we didn't really match up in first year because you dated someone and I didn't. Yeah. I made a lot of regrettable decisions. We both made regrettable decisions. We did. I mean, that's what you do in first year. That's life. Such is life. And such is life for an old knickerbocker like me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just a That's you, John Mulaney. I was just a wee grasshopper yeah. back then. Didn't know anything. Um, but yeah, and then it, recently in the past like year, it's been really sinking yeah. up. Like we both, really we weird. date people of the same, same sign. sign at the same time and we break up with them at the same time. It's beautiful. It's actually insane. When we were both... Okay, so it was like the last last summer we both saw like Aries people. Yeah. At the same time. And then and it, it was, ended. And then it ended at the same time pretty much. Like end of summer came to an end. Yeah. And then we both went and saw Geminis. Oh my god, yeah. We we were seeing Geminis in the fall. Mm-hmm. And we uh And we, I swear to god we're not coordinating this. We're not like okay, we're dating Geminis now. No, we just we meet just, people and they both happen to be the and same then we talk sign. About it and it's like and we both were like, okay, yes, I'm seeing this person a little bit and for it's like, oh, this it's amount sign, of time. Gemini. And then it's like, mm-hmm. oh, what? I'm seeing a Gemini. Yeah. And then, and then we come to the conclusion that, that we don't want to date them anymore. That we're kind of over it at the exact same time. Yeah. I remember you breaking up with your Gemini. <sighs> My Gemini. <laughs> I We went out for coffee I and know. like smoothies and stuff. And then I was, I was like, like, you should, should just do, do this. this. Like, and I did. And you did. You were like, I was like, there's a park near my place. Just go there. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And then you just went from my house to the park to break up with them. It's literally insane. And then for me, it was kind of the same thing. It was kind of the same reason, too. It was like. Yeah, we were just like, it's fine. It's, but it's fine. Not, like, exactly. But it's nothing really, like, super special. Yeah. That we want to, like, And I was, like, pursue. going home. Like, I was leaving, and I was, like, I don't really feel like doing any relationship right now. Like, I'm just not in the right headspace. headspace for that. So, yeah. Anyway. And it's a lot of, like, mental effort to, like, be in a relationship. I know. And I was, like, I don't want to do this, like, with this person. Cause, yeah, you have to really you know, like them. I don't want to, like... Put all that time and lead effort, them, and then like I don't lead them on. Yeah, I don't want to lead them on. That's not the same way I felt about my Gemini. Yeah, had to let him go. Anyway, uh, yeah. Anyways, that was so a very that was a weird tangent we have that nobody kind of asked synced for. Up love lives, and now that you're seeing someone, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Except any time. I don't now. want you to date a Libra man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did this to you. Yeah, I mean, this is your fault. Didn't you fix something better? I didn't know he was a Libra. Ah! Um, maybe it'll be an air sign. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just that. Maybe we can, or maybe they're like a Libra moon or something, or Libra rising. Oh, hottie. Yeah, Interesting. that's the thing. Libras are really pretty, so it's like yeah, so you look on a Libra. <gasps> I bet that Aries guy I was dating probably had a Libra in his sign, in his chart. 
Ugh. Because he is pretty. I actually hate that, but I think you're probably right. Ugh. I wish you knew his chart. I know. This, we're not talking about the movie at all. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold wait, on. Wait a damn minute. Mm, okay, but we're, we're like in person with each other. We can't fucking stay on topic. I know. <laughs> this is tough. Anyways, anyways, back to the movie. This movie is made out of three things, and I will tell you that. Okay. One, stuttering. That's the biggest thing that this movie is composed out of. Literally, it's um, annoying. Uh, you, how how are you? How are you doing? Um, um. um uh, Good, yeah. You look, uh, uh, you look great. Wait, um, um yeah? I just, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. yeah. No, I, I um, don't. I was thinking the same thing. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. And actually, yeah, okay. no, okay, I should go. Well, I, I should yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I have need to, to leave. Mm-hmm. That's a conversation that That's happens fully every two minutes in the movie. I don't know if it's just like the actors or if the what if the script was written like that. It's like stuttering. It's like stuttering the uh, entire time. Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> Da 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 da. Why not? Mm. They should. Sometimes I get worried when I drink my bubbly that you can hear the sparkles in the Good. audio. Is that what they're called? Sparkles. Sparkles. Sparkly. Well, water. yeah, because it's sparkling water. It's carbonated water. Yeah. Yeah. Bubbles. Sparkly sparkles. water. It's all silly. What if you go to a fancy restaurant and you're like, can I have sparkly water? Can I have the sparkly? Can I have the water with the sparkles in it? <laughs> Sparkly water? Do you guys have sparkly water? Tomorrow night, we're at like a fancy restaurant. Um, we can't go to any fancy restaurants. I mean, we could. We'll be way too loud and obnoxious. I was thinking about how much money we've spent we're already. Some obnoxious motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, I was just thinking, I was like, I don't give a fuck. I want to experience things. So true. And I was thinking, like, this is our vacation. We can't go anywhere. It's COVID. I know. Still, like, you can't go on a vacation. No. So we're just going to go out so this to is a patio. Vacation. Pretty much. And you eat out when you're on a vacation. Such is life. Such is life. So the first thing this m- movie is made out of is stuttering. The yes. second thing that this movie is made out of is, like, sighing, kind of? Like, <sighs> Yeah, there's Sorry. a lot of shots of just like people, <sighs> like heavy in breathing their, almost, but yeah. not, not like sexual or anyway, just like more disappointment and there's anger. A, yeah, there's a lot of emotion in this movie that is like, I wouldn't say that. No, but like the people are so clearly like they have a lot going on. Everyone's just stressed. They're the fuck stressed out. out. Yeah, there's that's a lot what I'm going on at all times, and everyone it's everyone's problem. Yeah, and they're all just like. <sighs> Oh, God. Yeah. God. Yeah. So that's the second thing. Third thing, you don't have to watch the movie to find out. I don't know. I said three things with the hopes of figuring out what the third thing was. I was, was. going to say, like, alcohol. Oh, yeah. Well, alcohol is a really big thing in this movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a wedding, so. It is a wedding. Uh, third thing is probably, like, almost illegal things, like drugging someone and locking them in a closet. That's insane. I thought that was funny and also justified. Also, I have a question. Okay. Okay, so this movie... The first act, I suppose, Mm -hmm. is like where... Barry? Hmm. Who? The maid of honor. Brian. Mm Mm-hmm. Brian gets the sleeping medicine, like, medicine mm-hmm. that was meant for Mark. the obsessive stalker slash fling yeah Mark. that the what the bride had mark mark doesn't get it brian gets it brian's like pass the fuck out and everything happens and it's all dramatic and mm-hmm. and you see all that play out and like Mark exposes that Haley and him slept together three weeks before the wedding. Yep. And Roberto, her husband now, is, like, really pissed. I'm just confused what happens here in this next part. (laughs) They're confronting each other. He's confronting her on the balcony. Yeah. 
and then and then he something happens. Falls? He's like kind of he's leaning, upset. He's against the railing on this balcony, so and she's she trying to like hold she's him. She's trying to like he's trying to leave, and she's trying to stop him. Right, because she's like, please explain. Work. But then I, I think know. he like pulls back. Oh, from he pulls her. back so hard, yeah. and then he flips off the balcony, and it just like freeze frame when he's like falling off the balcony. Isn't I'm sorry, it, wasn't that crazy? That, when that I happened, literally I was, was like, so shocked. I, I thought they were gonna, it, and like, I was like, I need to watch this. That's when I knew I needed to watch it with you when I saw that for the first time. I thought that they were gonna show him like fall down to the fucking ground, and die. But thank God they didn't. I know. I was, I was like, like, where is this going now? Yeah, that he's dead. But that was so crazy. I was like, um, I didn't think that that was where we were going with this. So my question but is, is that where the time loop begins? Or is this where not a time loop scenario where at all? It restarts, I guess. Like, but that's, yeah, that's my question. I don't, how I don't know. How did we get into the time loop? Yeah, that's the thing is that it's all like, it's, there's no. Explanation explanation at all as to why we're doing the time loop in the first place i think the whole thing is just like imagine yeah it's like imagine the concept that the, if things, things had gone go differently. different ways literally the whole movie is like imagine what if things were different but hold on what it's if like butterfly differently? effect that's literally what this movie is it's literally just like here are all the possible different timelines of people sitting at this one table in different no, that's spots. Like, that's what she that's said. She's it. like, there's so many different ways. Eight people can sit at a table. I won't do the math for you, but there's a lot. Yeah. And then it's like, these are all of the possible things that could have happened, which I guess is fun, but I don't, I think it's also lazy. I think it's, yeah, I think somebody wrote it's this sloppy, movie. almost. But then they were like, I don't know why this is happening. I don't know. We'll just have a narrator. We'll just have a narrator. The narrators are for when you're a bit lazy and you want to spell it out for the audience. Without actually spelling it out. They're like, I don't know. I'm just here. I'm the I'm narrator. Just being like, I I'm just going to tell what you I'm what's happening. Because somehow, because our writers aren't smart enough to come up with a way to incorporate this into the script. Because it's a, it's a lot. That's the thing. It's ambitious to make a movie with like, you know, a Groundhog Day type situation because you need like some kind of... I don't know, weird sci-fi element to it. You do a sci-fi element to it. Which makes things really complicated. But if you don't, if you can't fucking do if it, you then don't. you just don't do that and add a narrator, all your problems. Then you have love, so, wedding, repeat. Yeah. Love, That's the, wedding, repeat. Yeah. And it's it's just a like lazy the, title. It is. Love, wedding, like, repeat. No, it's just wedding, repeat. It's just because we no, don't see the falling in love part. We don't. It's just we wedding. Why don't they people, just call it wedding, repeat? Why don't they just do that? What was wrong with that title? I don't love, know. wedding, repeat. I guess he kind of falls in love with Olivia Munn. Yeah, and like there are people in here in the in the movie that do fall in love with each other, like my, more minor characters, like like Brian, Brian and, and Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Which I love. I love them. But it's at a wedding. So just wedding repeat. Literally. And it's like, who knows what happened to them? They're not in love right now. They're just, yeah. they just like each other. Well, he kind of said he really liked her. Well, yeah, but he doesn't really know her that well. They dated. They mean Rebecca? Mm-hmm. They did? I thought they just met. I think they did. What? I think they dated... And then he was like, she's crazy. And they broke up. And he was like, you're too obsessed with me. Why are you so obsessed with me still? You know? I or maybe she just has a crush on him. I had no idea. I just thought they met at the wedding and they and he no, and she liked him. Because he was like, don't sit me beside Rebecca. He'd said that. He did? Mm-hmm. You weren't paying attention. I thought it was just because he wasn't really feeling her. No, I think they knew each other before. And he was like, I'm not sitting beside Rebecca, right? And then he's like, I'm not sitting beside my ex-girlfriend, whatever her name was, right? Yeah. And she was like, oh, I'm geez, sorry, I put you guys all at the same table. No, I didn't, I didn't realize that. That's, That's okay. interesting. That changes the whole dynamic. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Because he was pretty adamant to, like, not... Yeah, I just thought he didn't really like her all that much and didn't understand why she well, was she like is, into him. She does not have a filter and I know. She is pretty oblivious. That's another thing about the characters in this movie. They all so like absorbed in their own self-absorbed thing. and oblivious. 
Yeah. Two things I can relate to. Yeah. But also, they like, take it to another level. They're like totally unaware of the like, people this around is them. Almost like un believable like that's what made me almost mad. but it's almost not to me i'm like people are like this but you were people literally don't like, pay attention i guess so people are really self-involved especially when they have like their, their own, own problems going on they're yeah, not paying like, attention to you almost to the missions yeah. and like, like they're stressed Brian, out and yeah the friend of the main character i suppose jack mm-hmm. is like pass the fuck out sleeping at the table and it's Jack's problem to deal with the cocaine addict stalker ex Mark, mm-hmm. but he's like, I need to pursue Olivia Munn. Yeah, he's um, trying to do so many things at once. So he was like, Brian, <laughs> we're not looking at him at all, and Brian's like, Brian, I'm going after her. You watch Mark. He like, like doesn't say literally anything. doesn't even look at him, and Brian is literally like passed out. So I'm just like, you didn't even look like you glance didn't look to your buddy to make sure and he's be like, agreeing hey, with you. Hey, no, nothing. He, he just didn't like, even. He trusted that he was gonna be like, yeah, sure, buddy. He didn't even check to see he to would see say yes. like a confirmation or anything. Yeah, and I was like, that is irresponsible and like rude. Very self involved. Yeah, well, well, he has other things to do. If you fell asleep at a wedding, I'd That's notice. I know. I would notice too. I'd be worried. If I fell asleep at a wedding, it'd be like, okay. Okay. I would just, prob- I would just tired. go, I would just say, one minute, I gotta go give it, get her a venti iced coffee. Yeah. And then I'd be like, up, oh, partying, dancing the night away immediately. Go. Literally Starbucks coffee does so much for me. I know. It does so much for so many people. Love them. Yeah. What they is saved it my about life. Starbucks I don't coffee. know. Like, I think there's like way more caffeine in their Drugs coffee. Drugs in there. Yeah. Well, caffeine than, is a drug. Mm-hmm. I agree. I can't believe you drank a venti. That I, blows my mind. You're so strong. I love it. It's so much good. It's like the most amazing thing. Anyways. My eyes made noises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just did this. No, I heard it. And it was like loud. It was like. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what they sounded like. It sounded weird and I didn't like it. Yeah, I get it. I know he's slow down. Uh, yeah, everyone's so oblivious. And then there's like that character Rebecca. She's oblivious to everything. Like this guy rolls up in a suit and is like, "Hey," and she was like, "Are you from the cabaret?" (laughs) And he's like, "No." And she's like, "Well, I can't believe you're from the cabaret. When did you start in the cabaret?" (laughs) She's like. And then he's like, I'm not fucking in, in the ca- in yeah. Memory. This is just my fucking suit. This is just suit. my fucking suit. She's like, oh, well, I have a six-year-old nephew that has that suit. And it's like, she, she just thinks just that she's like saying that. great stuff. Yeah, but, but like, she's being, like, she's rude. She's being rude. <laughs> she, <laughs> so funny. She's so oblivious to everything. I love her. And Brian was so not into her talking to him. And she was just, mm-hmm. like, going off and being, like... And he was, like, falling asleep, right? And she yeah. was just, like... She's like, damn, she's nailed like, it. Damn, you did really good out there. Yeah. Really amazing awesome. for you. I love you're this. such an amazing person. You're, look at you. You're such a baller. And she's like, oh, you're so, ch- <laughs> you're so chill about talking to that film director. I'm like, God, you're amazing. <laughs> and he's literally like, he's literally, yeah, half dead. Yeah. And she's like, oh my God. You're cool vibing. As a cucumber. I can tell you're buzzing. <laughs> I can tell that was really big for you. I can tell that was really exciting. You're absolutely buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. And I was like, yeah, he's totally buzzing. He is buzzing. <laughs> yeah. And he also played falling asleep, like, like falling asleep, like, trying to stay awake no, and fall asleep really well. I was like, that's literally, that's I've a been hard like thing that to do. in class sometimes. I've been like that Where, like, all my the time. eyes are literally, like, shutting, yeah, like, like, one at a time, and I can't keep them open and you like close them for a bit and then you're like and then you're just like yeah i know he plays it really he, like dramatic like, where's the but oscar also, like, <laughs> okay. where's the oscar where Ooh. is he bring out the man bring out the little bring golden out man mr oscar please <laughs> bring out mr oscar for this man <laughs> 
Yeah, but I, I was think like, that was really good, and I was, laughed was, a lot. It was a funny interpretation of it, and, and he I did think it well. His character in general is funny. Like I, I laughed love his at character. a lot of stuff I that he did. I kind of fell in love with his character in a way. He was kind of cute. Yeah, he's cute. The he's actor. endearing. And I yeah. was like, I like you. And at the end, actor. I was so happy for him. I know when he got his little part. The one thing that I really like that this movie has is a speech about for a speech for someone else that is about themselves that's what all that's all speeches in every movie that's a really good point <laughs> i love when that happens though i think i'm like wow things really do apply to life life is the same for everybody we're all going through the same thing are you doing a speech right now yeah I love when that happens in movies. When yeah, they, I think it's when they nice. don't know what to say or they have something already planned and, and then, then they go like, up and they're like, <sighs> no. <sighs> you know what, you guys? And then and then and then they like, take the microphone like off of like yeah, the stand and, and they walk. like walk around and like life is life is crazy. life is a funny thing. Sometimes you don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes, sometimes you meet people at the wrong time. Sometimes you meet people at the right time, and they're the and right person. Everyone in the crowd's like, "Yeah, like, yes." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then everybody slow claps. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, "And I, I guess that's what this is all about." I guess that's you know? what life is. Weddings and life. It's meeting the right people. You know, at the it's right like time. Love wedding repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. For those listening on just like Maybe audio, just, Olivia just kicked me. That's what everyone in the crowd does. Just they slow, slow clap. clap. I did just kick her. Because oh. that was. I had to do it. I was going somewhere with that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to finish it. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, but that's what I love. It's like when it's like, and then they start speaking to like one person. Yeah, and that person's like... And I'm like, God, yeah. this is so obvious that it's about you and this person. You are yeah. so selfish. Why don't you just talk about the fucking wedding couple instead of yourself and your newfound romance? Yeah. Selfish son of a bitch. Yeah. That's definitely a favorite trope. But I love that trope. Yeah. It's like, it makes sense. Here's some other things, some other tropes that could have made this movie better. Okay. If it took place in New York City. It was in Italy, though. That's already a trope. Oh, that's really Which, good. And I did like that it was in I Italy. Like I think that was, was fun and pretty. And I had a really good, nice Italian song at the end that I really liked. Yeah. So, points. And I think it was fun. It was fun to be in Italy for a change. Speaking of Italians. What? Should I show them my Pacino tattoo? Yeah, you should. Guys, I got a P- Al Pacino tattoo. It's a temporary tattoo, so let's not get yeah, too excited. Yeah, it's not real. But, but it's the best tattoo I've ever seen in my entire life. Look. <laughs> look. Pacino. I'm going to get out so it focuses on you. <laughs> this is such a weird... It's the worst angle in the entire... Back up. Girl, back up and just put your knee down and people can probably see it. Pacino? 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 Oh, my goodness. Yep. I did it. And I think she should get it for real. No. Um... Anyway, yeah, I think Olivia should get that tattoo for real, and um, you guys should uh, let us know if you think so, too. You guys should send me money so I can get it. (laughs) (laughs) Please give us money. Please. Yeah. Um, Uh, And this movie, yeah, it's just... It's crazy. It really, like, I was actually shocked at, like... I was shocked at how shocked I was. Down? Yeah. Like, there was many times in this movie where I was just like, oh, I know. I know. They have some funny lines, too. Like, yeah, like, the writing isn't half bad to me. Like, I thought it was genuinely funny. I think we were just talking about how crazy this movie was. And and, and it's just, like, silly shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And it's not a long movie, either, which I like. Yeah, it was It's like an hour and 20 minutes, maybe? No, it's definitely an hour 45. No. Yeah. <gasps> get out get from here oh my god yeah no it literally is. It went by fast yeah that's another like plus is that it goes by fast because you're entertained duh and olivia mon is beautiful and i think that <sighs> I she know. 
I mean, I don't know if she's the best actress, but what, what did she do? She was in New Girl for a second. Okay, so was Megan Fox. But what does she do? Like, what is she known for? I don't know. She's in, like, comedy movies, I think. Okay. Right? I guess. I don't think she really does, like, serious, she serious get acting. Because she's beautiful. And, okay. Like, wow, well, that makes I sense. I guess she is. She is kind of funny, like. Uh, <laughs> I guess she's funny. She is funny. Like, whenever she's in things, I'm like, ha, 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 ha. You're funny. Yeah, I giggle a little. I do, I do. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think that's Part probably Part of me's like, it. maybe that, that makes sense, her, her and John Mulaney. Yeah, I think she's a funny girl, so mm. they're, they can date. I'll allow it. She seems pretty down to earth, too. Yeah, she seems like, like a chill. Cool and chill and nice, mm. so. Wish I could yeah. look up her I sign kind right of now. feel bad for Anna Marie, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, the fact that he's dating somebody already, that's kind of that's fucked. so soon. That's too soon. Like, I know that they've... Uh, divorce takes a long time, so, like, the fact that they just know, finalized it, it... Like, I they've been it, separated for a while. But still. But it is... You've it sucks been married for, for seven years. And it sucks for it to be public, too. Yeah. For everybody to know. It's like everyone just found out, and then mm-hmm. it's like, oh, now he's dating someone... And then everyone's, like, passing judgment on it, too. I know. And like, maybe she's fine it. with it. But then she's hearing about it all the time and, and having not, people be like, that's shitty that he's doing that. And then it's like, you're, you're like, like oh. regressing back into those feelings that yeah, you felt you're like, before. Oh, it is kind of shitty, isn't it? I yeah. feel shitty and about you're it you're dealing now. with that all over again. Yeah. Did you see, there was like a post, she like posted on her Instagram story, Anna Marie. She was like, it was like, um happier now or like good for you or whatever. By Olivia Rodrigo. And she's like, I can't stop listening to this album. <laughs> queen shit i love her so much i love that and, and she's like right a bunch of pictures on her like website i was like checking it out that are fucking awesome and also kind of sad it's like there's one of her like throwing plates out a window of her house like from the top floor and i'm like fuck yeah throw them plates we love a good i kind of love her yeah i think she's great i think she's great too they're both great yeah, yeah i think it's fine John Laney, I think he's doing some things that are like, you just got out of rehab. Take some time to yourself. That's what I think. What do you mean? I'm going to judge him. Okay. <laughs> no. I, just I think like it's the dating someone? Is that what yeah, you I don't know. Okay. I'm just like, slow down. The th- yeah, the slow thing is, down. I, mean, I feel like he's rushing a lot. And like with shows too. Yeah, like, that's true. He's doing like a, a he's doing tour like, soon. I know, and he's doing like shows which have been sold out, of course, because everyone loves him and he's yeah. amazing. But and like I would go to a show of his too, but it's just like it seems I don't know like a lot. Yeah, I'm but like, also it's like I feel like we're not totally in the loop of like the timeline of things, no, and yeah. maybe he's been really okay for quite a while now. You know, like maybe there's like a delay in like that's the true. news. Probably. I mean, you know? we don't know anything. We don't know him. We don't know him. We don't know him. Um, yeah, so I... What would you, like, rate this movie? If you had to give it a, a, a rating out of five. Five? Out of five? I would honestly give it, like, a like, solid... Like, are you going to log this on your letterbox? I already did. I already forgot. I, for, <laughs> I, keep, I keep forgetting to log things on there. I just, like, you haven't done it in the last few to. movies. No, I know. I mean to, though, and then I forget. Um, I would give it, like, probably a three, honestly. Okay. Like, it's not a bad movie to me. It definitely goes to heaven for me. I think it goes to heaven. Because it wasn't bad. I wasn't offended by it. I True. It made me laugh. I True. think it's, like, a fun movie to watch when when you don't want something too serious. It's, like, not any worse than any of the other rom-coms we've sent to heaven. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm making the executive decision. I don't care what you say, actually. No, I am going to agree with you. I think I was ready to send it to hell, but I don't have a really good reason. And also, Mm -hmm. I I recommended this to you, and I chose to watch it for the second time. Riddle me this. (laughs) Riddle me this. And the first time, I was, like, semi-obsessed with it. I was like, ooh, this was so good. Like, I was just, like, so good in such a bad but pleasing way for me. Yeah. And I think it came out April 2020, so I was like, I really needed it. I was like... That's the theme for every movie that we like. 
Mm-hmm. I just really needed it. It came at a good time for everybody, I think. We were all yeah. desperate and uh, down bad and confused because it was the beginning of the pandemic and we had no grasp on reality. Yeah, so and this- you could really throw anything at us and we'd be like, ooh. Ooh, love it. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, because I feel like it's like we were like crying babies and it's like you see something semi nice and like that provides comfort and you're like oh and also this like takes your mind off of things because it's so crazy i know and you're like i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen and i don't know how long (laughs) this is gonna last and i don't understand why i haven't been out in two weeks and then you're like and then someone's like love wedding repeat look at this shiny and you're like oh short movie with with a pretty woman okay hmm. rom-com okay and okay. i feel like when if you watch rom-coms you like watch rom-coms yeah like, you know what i mean it's yeah. not people who are just like like some people who like certain genres are like oh, i'll watch some if they're good like i'm picky mm-hmm. about them let me tell you something about rom-com people not picky people in my opinion not no we just want any any crumb of oh emotion like, please yeah yeah any crumb of and int- lately like romance whatever they've it's been like, like fine you get this and, and it's like, like mm, oh my god this is a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> and you're like well all right well it's what i got so well, all right mm-hmm. well, i'll be grateful for what i have yeah and you're like, it kind of doesn't taste that bad it's all right if you give it a shot yeah kind of if you like plug your nose and close your eyes it's pretty good it's all right actually all right yeah, so. and you know what? There have been better rom coms, but there have also Surely been worse. There's been worse, right? Yeah. Wait, we sent we sent uh, come on, we sent like photo whatever five thousand million girlfriends to hell or whatever it was girl goes to girlfriends past. <laughs> <laughs> I love that five hundred million, million girlfriends. girlfriends. That's what it's called. Yep. 500 million girlfriends? No. Yeah, I had 500 million girlfriends. Yeah, I, had I don't know what's just happening. Yeah, and we sent Simply Irresistible to heaven, so I think this this movie deserves to go to heaven. It didn't do anything to offend me. No, that's a, that's an amazing thing. Huge accomplishment. Yeah, honestly. Um, I also, and this movie had Claire de Lune in it yet again, and oh it made me emotional for no fucking reason. Because as soon as that song starts playing, I'm like, I know one time I played that, I couldn't fall asleep and I played it and I just started crying. Yeah, I would Because it was like, it was like 1 a.m. And I was like sleep deprived and I was like, I gotta fall asleep. (gasps) And then I just pressed Claire Loon and I put it on my bedside table and I was just like, I'm a baby. I was like, it makes me feel like I'm just a little baby. I don't know what it is. It's like such a physical reaction. Like when I hear that. It's like a lullaby and then you're just like, but then I'm we're also, all little babies after all. I'm like, um, but I want some love. I'm like, I've never been in love. I don't think. I don't think I have either. Mm, interesting. Really? Yeah. Seriously, I, I don't mean, know. I believe that for you. I don't know. It's like Why weird. I, that? I was like, oh, okay. I believe that for you. No, I do. But no, I don't know. I get in really like the best way. It. Yeah. Anyway, you know we'll mean? talk about that later. But <laughs> for me, I don't really know. What is love? Is what it saying is like I love you? Baby, no. don't hurt me. I don't know. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Okay, I see where your head's at. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> what yeah. is love? Also, the uh, probably one of the biggest thing that like happens in this movie is that a man in a kill learns how to talk to women. That's like yeah. the most character progression. He was doing well at the end. I was proud of him. I was like, you're actually you. semi decent now. Yeah. Like, I mean, before it's definitely he was a piece not, of shit. I'm like, this isn't real life because this guy's like a serious piece of shit, and there's no way that this is all he needed to change. He's a piece of shit that. But he's a nice guy. He's yeah, a nice guy. He's like, I'm a nice guy. He's like, I'm a nice guy. Nice guys finish last. Mm. And it's like, well, Shut the fuck no, up. you're just, just letting this woman get super drunk, pretending to drink, pretending to drink. And also just, like, Super not listening to her at all. Just no. shouting at her stories about your workplace friends who actually turned out, they, they hate you. Like, yeah. They're not pranking you. They're, like, they bullying just, you. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like, harassing you. 
Yeah. And he just like, oh my God, the scene where she's like, yeah, and I was kidnapped by the Taliban. And yeah. he was like, mm, what were you wearing? What were you wearing? Yeah, because they don't really like cleavage part. Yeah. Not that you're, I don't know that your cleavage is bad. I like your cleavage. It's like, gr- it's like, mm. oh, yeah. And everything she said, he would just butt He'd in be and like, be like, mm, oh, did well, you that's a them? problem. Oh, well, that's your problem right there. Yeah. She was like, well, oh, was- well it is your fault then, huh? <laughs> She's like, well, I was in Afghanistan. And he's like, well, there you go. What did you expect? What did you expect? What, she, you thought you'd just go to town and have a little vacation with your girls and not get... She was like, no, I kidnapped. was literally, like, I'm a reporter. Like, I was there was like, working. Right, yeah. But did you invite the Taliban? Because never do that. It's like, no, we didn't fucking invite them. Mm, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Mm. She was like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that was funny and crazy. And I think this movie is pretty all right. Yeah. I think like it two and a half stars. Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's decent. It's a valid It's a, like, verdict. fun movie to watch when you're just like, I don't really care what we watch, and I want to mm. watch something. All it has to be is light and kind of, like, entertaining and, and it's fun. Not, yeah, it's not boring. Not No, this was definitely entertaining. So, it kept you on your toes. And yeah. when Roberto fell off... Ah, that was crazy. Insane. This movie Ooh, just doesn't really crazy. This movie doesn't know what it's doing though. I don't think it understands itself. No, but that's okay. I forgive it. You are forgiven. It's so fine. that's been love wedding repeat. Yeah. It's a nice little, I think, kind of somewhat short episode, even though this it's hasn't felt short. short. It's not Is short. It? Our intro was forty minutes. Oh, eh, it's usually forty minutes. All right. It's usually half hour. Okay. It's like a Try. regular length. That's crazy. Good for us. And uh, we will be back with another one of these recorded, video recorded um, podcast episodes, mm. which is crazy because Alexa's going to be here for a while. So we're trying to, kind of you know, get a couple cram in. them all in. Yeah. Get get at least two out and we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. This was fun. Thanks Great. for coming. Thanks for coming. And, um, uh, you know, as the French say. Hasta la vista, baby. I need you to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Fine. kidding. Never stop. As the Spanish but, say, but, au revoir, amigos. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you can follow us on stuff at filmgods.podcast on Instagram and TikTok and filmgodspod on Twitter. And um, leave us a like, a review, a rating. And, um, and tell you know. us if you want merch and also mm-hmm. let us know if you like the videos. Yeah, let us know. Do and uh, I guess Do you you'll care? have to like follow us on our subscribe to us on our, our YouTube channel. YouTube channel since that'll yeah. be a thing now. <sighs> this is crazy. So we will uh, keep you posted on all the video stuff. We're really excited and yeah. we can't wait to do more of this for you guys in the fall. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Bye. Bye.